Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to VO Buzz Weekly, the first web entertainment show dedicated to the voiceover business. Every week we are right here bringing you the latest on everything voiceover. That's right. Every week we get up close and personal with celebrity voice actors, top talent agents, studio tech people, casting people. It's amazing. If you're anybody, you're here with us. That's right. And on today's show, we have a super, super guest. Yeah. Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson, is here today. I'm so, so you don't want to miss a single second of it. I know. And we are actually all about The Simpsons today. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, The Simpsons, a few months back, um, Fox was talking about canceling The Simpsons because the production costs were so hot. Right. So, the, the actors of the show took a dramatic pay cut. And Fox renewed the show for two more seasons at least. Not as much of a cut as we're taking. Yeah. But dramatic cut. Yeah. But um, maybe we should empty the mugs and so people can know. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, they've renewed it for two more seasons. So this renewal will take The Simpsons to 559 episodes and take them at least through 2014. Nice. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So right now they're in their 23rd season. That's a Woo. long time. That's a long time, it's, man. It's the, most, it's the longest running primetime scripted series. Yeah. To date. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're known for having A-list celebrities on their show to do episodes. And isn't there someone kind of well, cool? Yeah, well, actually, yeah. And this is, like, actually pretty crazy. But uh, the latest uh, celebrity, <laughs> the latest celebrity to join the VO ranks. Why um, did you do celebrity? Uh, well, because, you know, she's not really a voiceover That's celebrity. True. So I'm going to just say celebrity as in something else. Yes. To join the ranks of voiceover is Lady Gaga. She is scheduled to be on an episode of The Simpsons this coming spring. I bet she was pretty fun to animate. Right? Exactly. And on another note, yeah. guess who else is thinking about getting into the voiceover business? Who? Larry Flint. You know, the hustler what? guy? Yeah, Random House just signed him uh, to do a uh, se to voice a series of children's audiobooks. Children's audiobooks? Yep. I'm totally kidding, but it could happen. It could happen. Wow, I'm a little scared right now. <laughs> anyway, we wanted to take an opportunity to see if you've noticed any changes on our set. We are upgrading, thanks to you, thanks to your support in all the ways you're supporting us on Facebook, Twitter, donations, in the store. Thank you so much. It means so much to us to keep being able to do the show for you every single week and making it bigger and better and brighter. Exactly. It is brighter, right? It is brighter. And, uh, you know, just to let you guys know, man, I mean, we do this, and the reason why we're doing this is because nobody else is doing it, and we figure that those of you out there who are into the voiceover business or wanting to get into the voiceover business or are superstars in the business, we have now a stage where we can put the face to the voice. Right. Um, and, and, and that wasn't available before until now. So it cost us money to put this show on. As you might know, we have lies. Uh, not lies. lies, we have lights, <laughs> we have camera people, we have a whole crew behind here that we can't yeah. see. Hi guys. Um, and, and they're uh, great and we love them. Yeah, so with your help, you know, and, and of course subscriptions are always free, but with your help and donations and all that stuff and getting the show bigger, uh, mm -hmm. we can do more and keep pumping these things out every single week so you have some information coming at you. Okay, we have a question uh, from Steve in more New questions. York. Yes, Steve we're in New full York. of questions. You're we right. love your questions and your comments, so please Absolutely. keep going to viobuzzweekly.com and sending them to us, and we'll share them on yes. the air, for better or worse, but please use good language, because I won't say bad things yes. on the air. No, no bad things. Anyway, Steve from New York noticed our apples here, and they are real, and he wondered what was the deal. Was it just an aesthetic choice or what? But we actually have a fun voiceover tip about the green apple. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, as you all know, I'm a voiceover producer and I produce demos for people and help them break into the business and all that great stuff. But whenever I have anybody in the booth um, and they get a little bit nervous, which everybody does, mm -hmm. and we have a little saliva clicking and little bubbles popping and stuff like that, a really great uh, high quality mic will pick all that stuff up and they're Everything. kind of annoying. Um, you have to edit them out, and sometimes it's hard to do. So if you just take a bite off an apple to every session you go to before your session, mm -hmm. all those little bubbles of saliva are gone. You can be as nervous as you want to be, and your vocals will be nice and clean. 
Here you go. There you go, Steve. <laughs> okay, you guys, I don't want to wait any longer. Neither do I. I want to talk to Nancy Cartwright. We know you want to hear from her, so let's get to it. Okay, you guys, it is time. Our guest in the studio today is the one and only Nancy Cartwright. You know her from The Simpsons, Rugrats, Kim Possible. It goes on and on. She is a best-selling author, producer, philanthropist, and it'll be more interesting coming from her, so we'll just talk to her right now. Please help us welcome the amazing Nancy Cartwright. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Yay! Put it there. Nice to be Thank here. Thank you so, so nice to be here. So cool to have you, you on the show. Thanks, my pleasure. Thank you so much for taking your crazy valuable time and coming out and being on VO Buzz Weekly. We really, really appreciate it. Well, I couldn't miss out on this. Are well, you hello, kidding? Hello, if you want, right? you look at the, if you like to hold it, you can have it. There you go. <laughs> it makes you feel all comfy and cuddly. Oh, it looks alive. great with what you're wearing, too. Get down. So, listen, let's just get right down to it. I want to start off by asking you this, and I know that probably everybody asks you this, but you probably have a different answer every single time. How did you get started in the VO Biz? The real answer to that is I was working at an ice cream shop in Kettering, Ohio, where I was born and raised. Mm -hmm. um, it's near Dayton, Dayton, Cincinnati. And uh, I, had, I was on the speech team when I was in high school. So I did a lot of interpretation of humorous literature, a lot of children's stories. And I actually did well, brought home a lot of um, blue ribbons and some trophies and stuff and I like telling stories and sometimes I would do six and seven different characters and the judges would say things to me like you have an unusual voice you should do cartoons oh wow but yeah but this is Kettering Ohio it's, right right you know <laughs> everybody like, has Hello. an unusual voice right. There, right? <laughs> <laughs> true and uh this guy came in and he was the happened to be the president and general manager of one of the local radio stations and I knew him and his family from the church that we went to so we were talking and I told him that I was going to Ohio University to major in communications but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with that and he said why don't you come work for me I need I need a little part-time gal to work in the summertime at the radio station oh that's he cool. said yeah and he said maybe we could get you on the air and that's kind of how it led to it. So I filled in for people that went on. It was a full-time job for the entire summer. So I got to fill in for reception, for PR and marketing. I got to um, do some scheduling, you know, back wow. in traffic. They call it trafficking. Yep. And Did they actually put you on the mic? Do PSAs well, or anything? Yeah, it wasn't PSAs, but my boss, one day, a woman came in to the station who was promoting music from Warner Brothers Music, and Warner Brothers to us means, well, at that time anyway, Mel Blanc. Yeah. He, was, he was the icon, and I'm thinking, she works for Warner Brothers, maybe she knows Mel Blanc. It's, I mean, it's a completely different industry, <laughs> but I'm, maybe right. she knows yeah, yeah. Mel. <laughs> and my boss knew this, and we spoke, and I told her I was interested in voices, and I kind of liked that, and she gave me her card. So my boss ended up, we, she and I, her name was Ann Schwebel, we kind of hooked up. I wrote her some letters. That actually led to my very, very beginning, but my boss did put me on the air. I ended up doing a little promotion and marketing for the radio station, and it was a clever little thing, and I was actually getting paid for it. So Get that was down. my beginning. Oh, Get that's down. great. That's yeah. very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So obviously, in addition to Bart, you do multiple voices. On yeah. The Simpsons, but what is the most unusual reaction you've gotten from people when they, because some people don't know that Bart Simpson is voiced by a woman. People are just like they're stunned, which kind of stuns me because, you know, of course I think everybody on the planet knows. Right, oh, I know. Eight billion so people. Do we. Why it's wouldn't like, you know <laughs> that? You know, yeah, right. It's actually kind of fun in a way because there's that built-in anonymity mm -hmm. that we as voice actors have. Yep. Right. We can walk anywhere. I mean, I've traveled around the world like you, and I can walk down any street in Edinburgh, Scotland, or Dublin, or go to New York, or wherever. I've been to um, Australia and New Zealand. I can even go to the university that I'm going to be speaking at, and the kids don't even know who I am, oh, wow. which is actually kind of cool so when somebody does recognize me it's a funny thing yeah. I, I, I kind of like it yeah I kind of like I it, like it. <laughs> <laughs> because 
I don't have paparazzi. Yeah. I don't right. have like this right. attack or invasion no. or anything. It's kind of like well, maybe yeah. if you just broke oh. into Bart's voice or something, maybe someone would go. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Although yeah, a yeah. little paparazzi once in a while is kind of interesting. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Wow. Somebody a took taste. a picture of me. This is awesome. <laughs> I did. I had a little taste. I, when I was on my book tour, I was in England and I was on some. I was on a, a talk show. And there was paparazzi when I was leaving. Oh my, I got mobbed. It was How, kind of exhilarating. Was it scary? A, a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question for you. In what ways are Bart and you similar? Bart likes to create effects. Mm -hmm. And I think that really, if I'm gonna really pinpoint it, I would say probably that. I like to create effects too, but I like to make people laugh. Bart likes to kind of surprise people and right. shock people. Right. So. I would say that would be probably the closest thing that we have in common. So yeah. you've never shocked anybody? Oh yeah, I mean I've done some pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she does not wish to share uh, those, yeah, those events. We're, yeah, for that information you need to go to www.imnotgonnatellyouever.com. <laughs> So, <laughs> The Simpsons is in its 23rd year, congratulations, and yes. you've been yeah. there f literally from day one. You, yeah. were, you originally were supposed to audition for Lisa, mm -hmm. and Bart came to, how, what's been exciting about literally watching him grow up and being a part of creating him from the beginning yeah. to the present? Well, that's a good question, and for, I know that you you have a lot of public that watch watch your show here, that they're interested in finding out, I guess, successful actions that you know your guests have done to to get us where we are exactly that's one thing that i would say and i would highly recommend that if you're interested in doing voiceovers and actually even if you're not it's sort of just like a rule for life that i live by you have to trust yourself yeah you know when i went in and, and and i was to go read for lisa i read her but bart's audition was right there and i picked that up and the difference between an eight-year-old middle child to a ten-year-old you know school hating underachiever but proud of it duh i mean who wouldn't want to do that right. it just seems like so much more fun right so there was no doubt no no consideration and also i trusted i had this one voice that i wanted to do not that i didn't have other voices mm -hmm. but for bart man i knew what that sound was you know what i mean <laughs> So when I did it, I met Matt Groening. I said, hey, I'm supposed to do the girl, but do you mind? I'd rather do the kid. Right. He's like, no, no problem. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my. And for him, too, it was just boom. So trust your instincts. Mm -hmm. You're right. You are right every single time. There you you go. know, it's yeah. like when you make him, you go, God, I knew it. I knew it. When I met him, I had this feeling. Yeah. That's yep. the feeling that I've learned to come. You've got to listen to that. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's great advice. It's that's absolutely very, very great cool. advice. So, Nancy, I want to ask you, what is a typical day in the life of you? Oh, my gosh. You know what? That's a tough one to answer. I don't know that there is such thing as a typical day. No typical day. Yeah, because I'm, well, to give you kind of an idea, I'm... I'm engaged to be married. Yeah. Congratulations. Whoa. Yeah. Is that, that's like, like exclusive information does there, Does he isn't know it? how well. lucky he is? <laughs> yeah, I, I think he does. Okay, I good. think he that's does. That's cool. Good. But I've known this fellow for 27 years. We met a long time ago in an acting class, and we but we both kind of went our separate ways. And he raised he raised three boys, and I raised my kids, although his kids are a little bit younger than mine. So right now, I've got my son is 20, and Jeff is 13, so we've got oh, kind wow. of like, an, it's another kind of a family that I'm right. starting to create, because my daughter's married, and it was a, almost becoming an empty nest. Yeah. And then I met up with Ken again, and we kind of hooked it, hooked it up. So that personally is, is it's very different, yeah. and that's such a huge change in itself. Yeah. At this point in the game, I really love creating and producing. So I am writing a screenplay, I'm developing an animated show, and I'm working on a theater play. I'm doing all, oh, I just, great. you know, it's just, yeah. I, I just want to, I'm very involved and have teams of people, you know, groups that I'm working with, mm -hmm. individuals or whatever that I'm working with for, for each of those, and it's so much fun. And aside from that, the work that I do in the community, I'm, I'm in Northridge and have been very involved for about eight years, um, as honorary mayor, and that's pretty that's cool. Great. That's I would great. never Mark get Simpson one of those. Honorary yeah. mayor. <laughs> he probably would do a better job than some of the politicians. Yeah, I end up. Kicking, <laughs> uh, yeah, they kick me out of states, you know, and she gets. 
<laughs> no, it's fun. I really enjoy it. This time in my life, I'm kind of like the idea of, I've always liked the idea of helping, mm -hmm. but giving back in a way, no celebrities live in Northridge. I'm sorry. It's like I could, I, could, I don't need to really live there, but right. I've been there since 90, um, when did we move there? 96. And I just kind of started to recognize that this is a community that kind of needs yeah. help. Yeah. And raising my kids there and sort of seeing things change. And it's got, it doesn't have the best reputation nearby Canoga Park and Chatsworth. It, it's very high crime and gang mm -hmm. and pornography. Um, that that whole Canoga area. Park, yeah. 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 The soccer moms and doing what they're doing. Yeah. So to, to step in and take a, you know, a leadership position and the idea of giving. And I, I just, I, I, I dig it. Yeah. I can do it and I'm able to do it and I like to do it. That's really cool. I wanted to ask you, have you ever had a time professionally when you felt stuck or unmotivated and just how did you work yeah. through that? Um, I did. It was when I first moved out here. I moved out here uh, to LA in 1978 and I was about almost 21. And my mom had just died, actually, two weeks prior to that. Mm -hmm. I'm one of six kids, and she had been ill for a long time, and, and then she died. And it was kind of a tough time for me to decide, what am I going to do? Because at that point in time, I had a relationship with Dawes Butler, right. the voice of Huckleberry Hound, Yogi Bear, mm -hmm. and I was transferring from Ohio U to UCLA. But I didn't know a soul, and I'd never met him in person. I just was really coming out. I'd never even been on an airplane before. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to do voiceovers, and I wanted to make a career out of it, but this was at the very beginning. So I was doing odd jobs like working in the cafeteria. I, I needed to make some money. Um, but that next summer, school was out. I wasn't going to summer school, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. My gosh. I, so I went to an employment agency. And I started working as, a, you know, answering phones and reset. It was a horrible time in my life. But I, what I realized was um, I got back and I, I just kind of rekindled my purpose of what it is that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And when I got back on track and got involved in theater and creating again, all of a sudden things started taking off. Mm -hmm. And that's when, that's when kind of like it all kind of came together. Everything changed. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Would you be able to pinpoint maybe one or two things that you feel have maybe helped your career the most? Well, these are going to sound very, very basic, but I think that's kind of what's really, really needed. And this may sound silly, but when you're setting up your home, your home studio, your space, you really need to have designate a space for that. You can... I don't recommend doing it on the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. right. You know, if you can actually really m set up the space and make it kind of, this is my workspace. You put curtains up, you kind of do what you did here. You make it really your work area. Mm -hmm. And the phones go off, you put a do not disturb thing on the door, you take your cell phone and unhook it, and you do your homework, and you just actually become a professional all by yourself at home. The other thing is, and this is another thing that most people wouldn't think of, you kind of got to do some house cleaning. And I don't mean your apartment or your home. I mean friends. Mm -hmm. I mean friends and really take a look at who you have in your life. Because a lot of people will find if they really take a close look at people that they work with and even family members, why don't you get a real job? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you do something that you do? Just, you want to get married? To, I want to be a grandmother. I want to be a grandfather. You know, it's kind of like you don't really need to have that kind of support, you know? Yeah. Yep. That, that's great. That is great advice. So Time Magazine has you on their 100 influential entertainers of the 20th century. You're amazing. Oh. You're amazing. It. But that's amazing. <laughs> how, do you, what, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's, I mean. Well, the first thing I say is, you really do your homework. <laughs> and I'm just going to say thank you for that. Well, She's welcome. pretty and smart. Oh, like, I'm, smart. You, you, Amazing cook. You know, you have I'm such impressed. an impress. Thank I'm impressed. you. Yes. Thank you. So I, what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, are your thoughts? what are your thoughts about that? I mean, that's of the 20th oh. century, only 100 people. I mean, that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that was cool. way cool. I beat Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like framed it, man. That was like yeah. such an honor. That is. I think it's great for young women to look at someone 
who started from absolute scratch and look where you are and that it's not it's not impossible I mean dream big always yeah it's great cool Things well, that's well yeah you have a primetime Emmy an Annie yeah. you yeah. are a daytime Emmy nominee I mean where do you where are they where do you have them displayed do they have little lights do they have their own room <laughs> do in they the house? have their own yeah. <laughs> Um, they're in my conference room. At one time, I used to take my Emmy. You know, it's got those, it's like it's a weapon and, yeah. you know. <laughs> I used to put my keys on it. It was like aesthetic and functional. It was like cool. But Very good. No, it's propped on a, I've got a, a table and s s stuff in the room and it's kind of fun. That's you know, good. it's That's fun. Cool. Go by and dust them off. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. very, very cool. Do you ever miss the on-camera side, or are you... You know, a little bit. So I am, yeah, so I'm developing, you know, these projects right now, and this one little gal that I created named Darlene Davenport that I have so much fun doing her, mm -hmm. and I've got, I'm just starting to put together a YouTube, you know, have her own, her own little YouTube kind of a thing, but I've been developing it as a play. But it could be, I could do almost anything with that. I'm just saying, how, where does she fit in? She's really different. She's kind of an unusual character. And I've done a couple sketches with her and I've had so much fun. I love improv and especially yeah. improv through her yeah. because there's a certain amount of freedom because there's, it's like, because she's a certain kind of a character, there's a whole boundary, but there's a lot of freedom within that. Right. You know what right. I mean? It's just, yeah. it's, it's really so much fun. Right. Um, I cherish my time, and I think being on a television series or being in a feature film, the amount of time it mm -hmm. takes sitting around for three months when you're not working all the time to me is like anathema. I, I don't know that I can yeah. live like that. Yeah. I'm pretty action-oriented, and whether I, whether I get paid for it or not isn't even the point. It's more these days of who I get to work mm -hmm. with and how I'm inspired and what what if it's fun I really like to do yeah. it you know how do you keep your voice healthy if I do get like a laryngitis or something Simpsons is I mean what are they what are they gonna do if I was on camera you right. you gotta you gotta get it up anyway man you gotta, yeah. you gotta yeah. do it because exactly. it's like a lot of money yeah. right then for that night but they will wait for me and I will just the best thing to do is to just actually button it. Just mm -hmm. shut up and not talk. Whispering is horrible mm -hmm. for your throat. Mm -hmm. But warm, you know, teas are good and you know, I suppose honey, but I don't I don't personally take honey. Yeah. But I've heard that that's good. I, I just you try to shut up. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. Be quiet and stay away <laughs> from the vodka. That is hard. It's a challenge, <laughs> but I do my best. Yes, yes. Um, I ring my bell. Yeah. <laughs> my staff comes running. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. <laughs> yes, miss Nancy. Yes, miss, yes, miss, yes, miss Nancy. Nancy. Monica, Monica, get me this. Janelle, get me this. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I think the coolest thing in the world oh, is that yeah. you're Bart Simpson because I think that the coolest character in the world is Bart Simpson. Oh, I mean, God. he's like he, he is like the rock star of he freaking is. right. He so, is. How many times? Because I know that if I were Bart, like yeah. you wouldn't stop, you couldn't stop me from doing Bart. All right, I'd be like, he yeah, actually Bart. does Bart. I do Bart. <laughs> and, and, well, he tries, and I yeah. and I said, are you gonna do that? And, you know, we, embarrass yourself. I said, are you oh, gonna like, do no, that? I guess not. Are you so, me? Yeah, no, no, not so. in front of you. I would never. Are you kidding me? That's like doing Elvis in front of Elvis. Like, <laughs> let me there's hear one Chuck. king. Come on, Chuck. Let me no, hear Bart. Caramba! Oh my God! <laughs> so it's like I know a, it totally sucks, yeah. but check this out. How many times a week? Okay, now. Maybe zero, but I have to know for me. How many times a week do you get asked to do the voice? If I'm new in a group, then there's like working with the youth center. Are you yeah. kidding me? Those do Bart, do Bart. No way, man. Oh, ah! <laughs> and they, they like freak out. Right. So it just it depends where yeah. I am. My friends actually never ask me to do it. I don't think they ever have because they've known me. You need some new friends, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, you need to look around. Or no, you, no, you, what is this? Your own advice. You need to. Were talking about getting rid of some people in your yeah, life? Yeah, huh? I Chuck. No. Okay, not those kind of people. No, no, Sorry. no. Chuck just wants to be your friend, so you'll do it all the time. Listen, it it actually is coming quite handy, but not for me. More for my fiance. Whoa. He got pulled over. Okay, I'll tell the story because it's such a great story. He got pulled over. He made an illegal U-turn. Okay. okay. And he was driving my car, uh -oh. and my car says, I support the local PALS, like Police Activities League supporters. So right. that was the, the, the license plate frame. He pulls, he pulls over, the cop comes up to the side of the car, he also didn't have his seatbelt on. Oh, oh. Ken! Click it or ticket! Ken, Kenny, haven't Ken, you read the Nancy billboards? 
so the cop is standing there talking to him. He says, um, so I noticed that your plate says, you know, that you support pals. Uh, so what do, what do you do? He says, well, um, actually, uh, this is my fiance's car. And um, she supports, oh, wh who, who's your fiance? Well, and he's thinking, gosh, did he drop my name or should he bring in, like, you know, assistant chief? Drop the chief? name. <laughs> well, or he goes, should I bring up, you know, Charlie Beck or, chief, you know, assistant chief Mike Moore? He goes, couldn't remember their names. He goes, oh, um, maybe you know her as Nancy, Nancy Cartwright? He goes, the voice of Bart Simpson? That's your fiance? Oh, my God. Does she do the voices for you, too? Does she do it all the time? He's like, well, actually, yeah. Okay, look. Have a nice day. <laughs> and that was it. What do you say to that, Stacey? Oh. I think you should get a little trinket out of I'm that. I'm going to start telling people <laughs> I that think my fiancé is Nancy Carter. <laughs> a, little, a little bobble for the ears, Ken. Hello. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're going to, you know. You owe her. Yeah. Maybe we should have Ken on. Ken. <laughs> Let's get That's another chair. Then. Can we get right, Ken in right. a chair? <laughs> We're going to do a follow-up with Ken. Oh, God. This has gone so personal. <laughs> well, that's it for us this week. Thank you so much for watching. That's right. And be sure and join us next week for part two of the Nancy Cartwright interview. Between now and then, go to VOBuzzWeekly.com and subscribe. Make sure to tell all your friends. And like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at VOBuzzWeekly. Make sure to keep your questions and comments coming. We love them and we're going to share them. Take care, everybody, and remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. buzz.